Hello you guys, how are you guys doing? On today, I'm here to show off another unit. A cute, cute, awesome, awesome unit, you guys, that I have been browsing around YouTube trying to find me another straight unit. And I found one, and um, this is by Janet Collection. And this is the Natural Super Flow Deep Part um, Lace Wig. And her name is Bessa. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not pronouncing it right, Bisa, Bessa, whatever. And this is her. And I've been looking for a long, yakky type um, hair uh, wig. And this is the wig that is actually a yakky type material. I've been um, actually watching a couple of women on here that has reviewed this unit. And they was actually saying that the wig was very thick and it's like a yakky type natural type feeling so yes and um let me read these directions it says that you can curl her up to 360 degrees and it says hold for 30 to 60 seconds do not overlap hair which meaning i'm pretty sure that um when you got your curlers on don't leave the curlers on this weave like for a long period of time or it will burn um but yeah i ordered her from off wig tights dot com actually no you guys no i'm wrong i ordered her from off hair stopping shop yeah we got her in today and the wig was 26 dollars and 10 cents that was the regular price plus the shipping and handling which made my total to 32 dollars and 85 cents so i paid like a lump sum for this unit which i wasn't meaning to and she is a ombre She's ombre, and um, I got her in the color SC1517. This is the color that I got her in, and it is like a pretty ombre, um, burgundy color, it's like a pretty red color, almost, almost similar to miss Cece, i love loved her unit you guys she had on it was so pretty i was just liking the little burgundy color that she had on so i said guess what i'm gonna try to find me one similar with that color but um hold on you guys sorry about that guys my daughter is kind of like interrupting me right now but anyway back to this unit this is how she looks very very pretty yakky texture and she's really thick y'all she's really thick like um she's not that well you know what she's a little thin but not yet that much i don't know because i'm gonna be honest with you guys about these units now if i move this hair you guys can actually see that that wig cap that's not good that's a negative but i'm not gonna tell you guys that this is um a unit that actually um has like a really really lot of thickness going to it up in this area but when you get down here at the bottom it's a lot of hair it's a lot of hair but when you come up here um and move the the hair out the way you can actually see the the cap it's kind of like thin so i'm going to give you guys an honest opinion about this unit now even up here at the top um this is not a good parting area to me i mean it looks good don't get it wrong it looks good you guys but i'm gonna have to do some plucking well from me looking at it like this now can you guys see that i like the simple fact that the parting is it stops to here to all the way up here that is good but it looks like to me I'm gonna have to put um, I know I'm gonna have to put some concealer or some powder or something up there to make it look realistic but um, if I really want the parting to like pop pop I'm gonna have to like tweeze the parting area some more to make the um, to make it open a little bit up there but the parting is fine. It's great. I like it. So, of course, this is, this is a um, lace front unit, of course. And, um, yeah, this, this these are just the instructions of this unit. 
and this is an invisible part lace and i'm gonna put this baby on you guys let me get my scissors i'm always unorganized and not having everything that i need i don't know why i'm always forgetting something in the closet but i'm gonna cut this um this information off and i want to cut the it's like I, I i really don't feel like cutting the lace of this unit right now i just want to just put her on but I'm gonna actually like cut. I'm gonna cut the lace off really quick. I just cut the lace off and I didn't do a really good job cutting that lace off. <laughs> I tried. But anyway, let me put her on. She does have two combs here in the front. And she has a comb in the back. And she does have adjustable straps. So, um, just to be on the safe side, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and adjust my straps um, to this unit. Let's see if I can take this off. It don't look like they can come off. It's hard trying to take them off. With these long nails. <laughs> okay, okay yeah. so I'm going to clip these on. And I'm going to put this baby on. And she is snug with the straps. Adjusted, she is kind of tight, but I just didn't want to have to take her back off once I put her back on. I'm trying to find the other cone. Okay, both of the cones I do not like. They are sitting like right next to each other, like right here. Like normally when you get a wig, you want your your uh, cones to be sitting like a little bit far apart from each other, like on both sides, but these combs are sitting like so close to each other and y'all know i like to rock my wigs all the way over to the side i normally don't do middle parts because y'all don't normally see me do a, a middle part uh, uh party with none of my wigs i'm always rocking them to the side but this unit does shed. Oh my god. And I don't know if it's coming from when I just cut the lace. It probably just came from when I cut the lace, you guys. But y'all see all that? I just cut the lace. So it's, it's probably where it's coming from. Okay, now I'm beginning to actually see that this unit has a lot of hair. So it to me, it is thick. It's really thick. But when you're holding a unit up, um, holding it up with your hands and stuff it is really thin like you can see the cap it's really thin but this unit has a lot of hair you guys and this is I'm just loving the texture this may I'm loving this texture it's not like a silky type texture it's like a yakky type texture and that's what I'm loving about this unit so I'm thinking this unit is like maybe 20 inches, if I'm not mistaken. I'm thinking she's like 20 inches. And I probably end up like cutting on her a little bit just in the front part because I don't like it to be like really straight, just going straight down. I like for me to have like, you know, some type of curl in the front part. That's just me. But I'm liking the color. So now you guys can really tell up here now that you can't hardly tell that this is a parting. I have to put some concealer on there or I'm going to have to do some plucking to make it look more realistic. That's just me. I'm going to have to do that. But I really like this unit, you guys. I really do. 
it's really pretty. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have to trim just a little bit off. I said a little bit, I haven't trimmed all it off. Because I don't want like a lot of that hair to be like in my face. I really don't, so. So I'm gonna have to trim a little bit of that off. Oh yes, I am. Trim it some more down here. I like for my units to be, to have like a little cut just right here in the front part. I don't like it to be like just straight going like just straight down my forehead like that. Um, I don't know, you guys, it's just me. So, this is the unit, and I really like her. I really do. I really like this color. The color is absolutely gorgeous. I so love this color. So, anyway, let's get to this parting area, you guys. And she is really, really shedding a lot to me. She's really shedding. She really is. And I'm also going to test her with my curlers. And these are the, girl, I, I didn't bought these curls like so long ago. I don't even see, but these are my IQ curlers. I bought these from Sally's like a long, long time ago. And um, I'm going to test this wig out and see um, what's going to happen when I curled her just right there in the front part because I wanted to see um, how good she curls just right here in the front area just to do like some testing or whatnot. So I got my, um, I'm not going to use foundation for my part up there. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Quick Powder. Um, I don't normally use this, so that's why I'm just going to use this for to put right there in my parting area to make it look more natural looking. And I'm going to see how this works. So, as you guys can see, this, to me, it's a, you can't hardly see that parting area. Like, I, I just don't think you can see that they're good. So, let me take some of this. And just put it in my and this powder is really light you guys can't even see that now the parting is really is gorgeous like they give you a nice little parting area here it's really nice. And I need to pull this unit back some as well, because y'all know me. <laughs> I'll be trying to make it look like so natural, just right there in the front. Probably gonna have to um get my um my foundation. I don't know. I'm trying to make a natural part here. Just to make it look a little bit more realistic, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna get my wig it. And put a little wig up there at the just right here at the top part. I'm trying to make it so you guys can actually see how this unit is. Let me get my wig at you guys. So I got my wig um edge smoother. I'm just gonna put a little up here.
area to make that parting look really natural. So I think that looks pretty natural, you guys. Now I'm gonna take my curlers and like curl like just a little, this little piece here. I don't think I cut enough off up here at the top. And I hope I don't have these up too high. But let's see how this curls. I don't want to burn the hair. They didn't curl too well, you guys. Let me try to... I don't want too much hair because I don't want to mess the wig up. And I don't have these curlers up high. I got them on 320 just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side, you guys. So, it did not curl that good. Maybe you need some flexi rods. I saw this one young lady on here using her flexi rods to um, like curl this unit. But I don't want to just mess the unit up, so I'm not going to curl it no more. I'll just deal with it this way. Flat iron a little bit. Just right there at the top but i did want that look i don't want no straight look i did want like a some hair like going like back like this but if i was to curl this unit you guys i would definitely get my flexi rods and curl this unit like that but i really like her she's she's pretty she's really pretty um it's just a simple fact like i said um, the parting area, when you first get get her, you can't hardly see the parting area. So you might have to use the tweezers to pluck her out a little bit. I got my tweezers right here. So I'm not going to pick nothing, but this is how you, um, if you wanted to, you can pick it just a little bit like this. Some people don't do it the way that I'm doing it. Some people might do it differently. But um, that's how you tweeze your wigs or whatnot. So I'm gonna put a, some more of my powder foundation up there. So I would definitely be buy another one of these units guys and it probably be in black because I also wanted a straight black unit as well as of this color I just wanted like different colors in the same wig I don't know why it all depends on if I like the wig or if I like how the unit is it's not a bad unit it doesn't shed as much but it does shed um, like I said you guys can only um, when you get the wig, you can you can make it into yours, make it your unit. So that's basically what you have to do to this unit. Um, if you want to curl it, you can curl it. If you want to put flexi rods in it, put flexi rods in it. If you want to tweeze out the part to make it look a little realistic, you can do that. But this is not a bad unit, you guys. It really isn't. I really like it. I'm going to turn around in the back and let y'all see the back part of this unit and like I said she's she she's pretty long to me I'm thinking that the, this this unit is like either 20 or 22 inches because she's really pretty and long and I'm just loving this color like I'm absolutely loving the color that's the reason why I went ahead on and ordered her now on the sides of this unit 
you may want to use like some hair pins to bring her up a little bit if you want her to be like close up to your head because that's normally what i do anyway i put hair pins on the side to make it a little bit more snug but um yeah you guys this is my wig review and Bisa is her name and you guys can purchase her on hair stop and shop she's on sam's beauty she's on hair sisters she's on wig types i believe this wig this unit is on a lot of websites so you guys can go on any website to purchase her um if you like but i just ran across a couple of youtubers on here that was reviewing her and i just thought she was really pretty and i really liking the ombre this ombre is not that dark. It's up here. It's not really, really dark. Like I thought. It, I thought the ombre was gonna stop like right here. I thought the black was gonna stop right here, but it's actually just right here. But some women on here normally get they mascara and they brush it to make it look a little darker, or they might get a black marker. Now I've never tried the black marker method, you guys. But guess what? I'll be right back. I'm about to try the marker. Uh, let me go get one of my black markers to see and demonstrate for you guys how that is going to make the ombre up here look a little darker. So, okay, you guys. Right so, back. now I got a black marker. And this is an expo. Just a regular expo black marker. So, I'm going to demonstrate this. I'm just going to take it and brush it. Brush the black marker down on this unit just to see if it's gonna get darker well make the roots darker i saw somebody doing this on youtube you guys i really did and i was like what in the world now that's something new but y'all know what i'm really i really i'm really not getting a black i don't even know if this marker is working let me ask my daughter. Jemiah. Let me ask my daughter. Can you bring me the black marker in the um in that little bowl for me, please? Bring me that black marker in the bowl for me. But you guys, I cannot tell. I don't think this marker is really working. So, okay, I got this black one, you guys. So I'm gonna try, let me close this door big. So, <laughs> let me see if you guys can see this. So is that actually getting black or what? Cause I don't know. This is just to darken up the roots. Oh wow, I'm just getting hair everywhere. Okay, you guys, so I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. And this unit does tangle, cause I'm just combing this unit and it just tangled up really bad at the bottom. So it does tangle. <laughs> But anyway, I, um, guys, you know what? I really just can't tell. I'm gonna let y'all judge that. I, I really just can't tell unless I just got some, some marbles that really not giving out a black ink. But I can't really tell that much. But if you guys want to try that, um, I saw somebody on YouTube actually do that method. To where they're getting a black marker and they was using a like this the color 613 unit and they wanted to like darken the the roots up here at the top and they were actually darkening their roots and i was like wow you know people be coming up with some weird things on the yt but it's all right to experience new things to see because hey it's helping me out to learn and to experience new things myself. So, yeah, but I really just couldn't tell. Maybe it was my marker. But, um, yeah, you guys, I like this unit. And, yeah, I have nothing else to say about her. She's gorgeous. I like the color. Yeah. 
y'all can share this video thumbs up this video um i'll put all the information down below and um i will get i guess i'll see y'all later on the next video and oh shots out to all of my yt sisters that are supporting my channel all the ones that are real on here that really give me positive feedback i really really love you guys really appreciate you guys for coming on and showing showing me so much love so yeah with that being said i'll see y'all later peace